Hello all, welcome back. In this video we are going to look at a third lesson called import and export service and we will see what are all the different components involved in this and steps which is required for import and export service. Finally we will see what is easy copy and how to use it. So whenever we want to transfer a large amount of data between on-prem and Azure, we have to use this import export service. So Azure import service is uh, the way of transferring data from on-prem to Azure. That means importing to Azure and other way around, we can use Azure export service to export data from Azure to on-prem. The scenarios in which we need to do uh, this uh, uh, task is if we want to migrate the data to the cloud, we can use this uh, import export service to ship data to nearest data center and if we have a content distribution requirement or uh, transferring backup and DR data which is not literally possible to transfer over a network due to the volume, we can use import and export service. If you look at different components involved, so we have to uh, create a job in uh, import export service in Azure portal, which helps in uh, tracking all those uh, uh, shipments which we are going to make. And there is a utility or tool called WA import export tool, which is a command line utility. And using this tool, we are going to prepare the data uh, uh, into the drives and once we have the drives ready as per the specifications we can ship those uh, to the specified address from Azure portal. So we can uh, use uh, Windows Server 64 bit with BitLocker or we can use Windows uh, client with management framework and the uh, BitLocker encryption as well. And it's always recommended to use general purpose V2 storage account and if we are going to use a uh, import job that's transferring to Azure, we can use something like uh, uh, blob storage uh, and file storage and we can use both block and page blob as well. Whereas if we are uh, using export job, we can export data only from Azure blobs, it can be block blob, page blob or up and blob, but we can't use Azure files uh, when doing an export. So for the preparation of the drives itself, we can use uh, a command line utility called wa import export.exe and we can pass the command prep import and this will create a journal file uh, during the process. So we are providing a path for the journal file and we are providing uh, a session ID as well and this is just to track uh, the particular session which is doing the copy. And finally, we are passing the data set as a CSV file and this will uh, ideally have a list of uh, directories or files which we are going to copy. So that's how we have to invoke the tool. And in addition to uh, creating the journals and copying the data, it can repair any blobs that were not usable and it handles the encryption uh, as well. So next step is we have to create either import or export job. In Azure portal, we can create import and export job and based on the type we choose, the steps might vary. If you look at the screenshot, has chosen import job and we have just named uh, the job name the uh, right subscription and the resource group and then we need to upload the journal file which was created in the previous step and we need to specify a destination as well in which storage account we need to uh, import these files and once uh, we have provided the uh, details in the next step it will uh, provide the information on uh, where exactly we need to ship the drives, etc. And once we have all those details, we can ship uh, our disk uh, which is prepared in the previous steps 
uh, to the particular location and we will be able to track uh, the status as well in the Azure portal. Similarly, the export jobs uh, looks uh, uh, identical. The only difference is that uh, in the source part we select which storage account the data is in and whether we need to uh, export all the data or only the selected containers and blob etc. And uh, the subsequent steps we can provide our shipment address and the data center staff will export it, encrypt it and ship it for us. So there is another way of copying a data as well. We call it as AZ copy and this is a command line utility which directly copies uh, uh, a single uh, file or uh, a bunch of uh, folders as well recursively from a particular source to a destination. And the source can be uh, anywhere from local file system to Azure blob file or table storage. And even if we want to copy some data from other cloud like uh, AWS S3, we can use that as well. The advantage of using this tool is that it's a uh, cross platform. We can use it on Windows, Linux and Mac OS and we can uh, uh, use it even if uh, the blob is not public. We can use something called a SAS token and we should be able to uh, uh, copy the data as well. Let's uh, switch back to a demonstration to see how we can use uh, AZ copy. So currently we are in Azure portal and if you look at the container of a particular storage account called CDN origin 01, we have a folder called public and if we uh, go to the content of this folder, we have a file which is already uploaded and we are going to copy this file to our local file system using AZ copy. And since uh, this file is uh, protected, we are going to create a shared access signature and hence let's create one and we need to copy the blob sas url. So let's copy the url and the next step is let's launch a cloud shell. And here we need to invoke the AZ copy command. So let's type on AZ copy and see what are the different options which is provided by this command. So it's providing a description of AZ copy is the command line tool that moves data into and out of Azure storage and available subcommands are bench, copy, doc, env, jobs, etc. So since we are going to uh, use copy, we have to pick uh, the copy subcommand which copies source data to a destination location. So in this case, let's use az copy and uh, copy. Again, it emits a bunch of information. If we scroll a bit and see, shows az copy and copy can be aliases uh, C, P, and C and we have to provide the source information and the destination information and if there are any flags which we need to provide. So if you look at one of the example, hazy copy C, P and we are providing a local path and on the other side we are providing path of the container. If we want to uh, say for example copy from Azure storage to local, we have to provide az copy then provide copy command and we have to paste the SAS URL and the destination and the destination may be the same current working directory. So let's it's trying to download something so I haven't provided a uh, the SAS URL in quotes, so it has uh, 
just uh, broken the command let's try one more time now I am using the same command hazy copy copy but this time I am using double quotes for the sas url and the destination and let's hit enter and now it's trying to download it if you look at the current working directory we have the file downloaded in the local so that's all uh, for uh, azure import export service and easy